Hello, this is Paul, and uh, welcome to my wood shop. You all saw a video on my Fox Mart station, and you asked for a little more information on my crosscut sled and my fence. I built this auxiliary fence to give it a little more support on infeed. It's about 42 inches long. Um, it just easily lifts off. So this is my crosscut sled. It supports off my fence in feed and also off of my support for my chop saw. Makes it very nice as I don't have to hold it here off the front edge of the table. I've also built a zero clearance insert into the crosscut sled. It's removable and replaceable so I can use it for a 45 or a 90. It also has a cross pattern on 96 millimeters uh, for clamping. So any product or wood I'm running through the saw on the cross cut jig, I can clamp either direction. Adjustable flip stop for repeatability. I can move it anywhere, put my product in it, clamp it, cut it. I built a 45 degree angle for cutting miters in here. This also has a micro jig system so I can face clamp. And I also have a fence that I can clamp down to the micro jig slots and adjust the angle. Let's see if we can show you the sled in action. When I turn on the saw, the dust collection will come on. straightened and squared using the five cut method. Also built some accessories for my fence. Here is my mortise and tenoning jig. Fits on my fence, slides. I've made some feather boards. These are made out of some PVC trim. I find that it makes the feathers really flexible and nice, seems to work well. Um, that's what I use this T-slot that I've routed into the fence for. It just slides in here. Adjust it to the height of your board, tighten it down, run your board through it. An L fence, which I just heard about recently. This also fits into the T-track above your saw blade. Now you can cut a board under your saw blade and use the side of the L fence as a guide. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day.